From the beginning, eTouch has been designed to have a graphical user interface. That means just touching buttons and going somewhere. And usually we've done this with uh, buttons and mice. But these days we have a new generation of touchscreen TVs and monitors. And these are very large. And so I asked to get a permission to test eTouch on a very large screen. This uh, screen right here and computer uh, is a $20,000 uh, system and wanted to see if it would really uh, work. So we put eTouch on and as you can see going through and it just with simple touches uh, you can go through and uh, see which would be excellent in a clinic or a training situation or even a presentation situation and here can go through and just uh, click on the uh, different muscles uh, in the list and go through and select the uh, muscles. Let's go and look at the muscle summary. Uh, how about muscle testing? And whoa, will it work? This was a big test. weren't sure if it was going to work or not. And click the button and guess what? It works. No problem without any problems and go through and this uh, check the different muscles, pectoralis major clavicular, works perfectly. And let's go back uh, to uh, charts and illustrations. And as you can see, charts and, illustr charts and illustrations are working fine. Let's go to a different muscle and go there. Works perfectly fine. And let's go back to charts and let's look. Uh, there the uh, spinal reflex is on the chart. That worked fine. Go back to charts. And let's see, there are the neurolymphatics working fine. Let's go back and neurovasculars uh, work great. Let's go back. How about if we go to uh, e charts? There's the e charts uh, menu. And clicking on five elements. Let's go look at the five elements theory. And, and here is the five elements theory example. I'm going back, everything's working without a hiccup. Well, let's go look at um, the acupuncture chart and let's see. Well, can we zoom that and click on it one time and boom, there it is. Yes, we can. So this was actually quite fun going through and uh, clicking on all of these. And as you see, uh, everything worked out perfectly. It's uh, beautiful, but uh, I'm not sure in every situation people would have the, the money to put a $20,000 screen in either their classroom or their uh, clinic. But as you see, uh, the touch screen works perfectly. And I could say that uh, I'm elated seeing this uh, work so seamlessly without any hiccups at all. I am um, exceptionally happy and just didn't want to uh, leave. I just wanted to keep uh, clicking uh, buttons and seeing what I, I could do. Oh well. So the touch screen graphical interface that was designed back in 1988 in the beginning uh, is still working uh, to this day. So let's go back and let's look at the wheel. Oh, there's the wheel. How about let's go look at uh, the five elements now. Clicking on five elements, yep, there it is. And just moving around, I just go click on it and you can move it on the screen. So that is uh, our first test on a very large screen touch, touch screen. And so we have touch for health running uh, on eTouch for health on a touch screen large display. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, we got a message. Click there and we're back.